the best Christmas you've ever had. <laughs> well, the one that's most memorable and probably has shaped my life along with my siblings would be the Christmas when I was four. We decided to go down to the Christmas tree and see what Santa brought before my parents woke us up, which is against the rules. There was a giant candy cane, giant. I'm like this tall. And the candy cane was as tall as me. It was huge and it even had a little crook and everything. My parents come downstairs and my dad's furious, furious. Dad's ready to cancel Christmas. And my mom steps in and says, oh, that's a little drastic, a little extreme. We all get sent up to one bedroom and we're stuck there forever. I remember being so angry, angry, because I just wanted my candy cane. It was as big as me. But we got sent away without any presents, without any candy. We didn't even have breakfast yet. <laughs> so my parents finally work out a compromise. And they say, okay, Christmas isn't canceled if everybody apologizes and any present with candy, the candy's taken away. And for an entire year, we go without candy. We have to agree to this or else Christmas is over. How many times did you sneak candy that year? Never. No, no. How, many, how many times did you sneak candy that <laughs> Never. year? Never. <laughs> we were very honest. We'd agreed, we stuck to it. So Easter? Easter, no candy. Fourth Val of July. Valentine's Day, no candy. You forgot a holiday. I know the holidays with candy. <laughs> <laughs> so Halloween, you went door to door. <laughs> I did you do Halloween that year or? We did, but I think my mom made us ask for fruit or something. Would you do this to your children? Yes. <laughs> you were... <laughs> it was a learning experience. <laughs> and what did you learn? You should wait for mom and dad. They're in charge. And I'm sure there's more. <laughs> One good thing that did come out of it, siblings were united we did bond together because the part I left out when we were up in the room and my parents decided we had to apologize and also give back anything we opened and all of the candy. Crystal apologized, Russell apologized, Robin apologized. I wasn't sorry. So my dad thought he was really gonna have to cancel Christmas until they left me alone in the room again with my siblings. All right, so this kind of changes the story here. Because <laughs> we started this story with your dad was going to cancel Christmas. Right. But really, you almost canceled Christmas. Um, no, I didn't lead the way. Crystal and Russell and Robin led the way. I just wasn't sorry. <laughs> I eventually apologized. I was eventually sorry. 